The 10-Minute Drill. This is a big one. Covered by Universal Roof and Contracting. The difference is universal. On 1010XL. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hit it. All right. Here we go. This is Sports Concepts and Rationalizations. Uh, the, the big sport topic right now is the last dance. <laughs> But did you know on this date, Michael Jordan won his eighth scoring title. He won 10 scoring titles. Nobody won as many scoring titles as he won. And that's another reason why. It was fun watching, to the early Jordan because there was an evolution of Michael Jordan, the basketball player, I think, too, because he really developed the jump shot, man. He really got good. I, you at, know, I think the opinion. same thing, but I'm watching those first year, and he's hitting jumpers, but maybe yeah. they're just showing the ones. I'm I just sure. remember more of – not going to the rim as much and like one on one, you know, cover me, cover me. I think that's age, probably. Bang, I'll hit the jumper. I think right over younger, you. he could go in and that's what I mean. Brutalize I think, you in, inside. Yeah, I don't I think, know. If he probably had that. I mean, I think of the the freshman shot against Georgetown, an outside yeah, jumper. Yeah. So yeah, I think there was a definite evolution of his game, but nonetheless, the point is, he won ten championships. They the, scoring championships. It, scoring championships. It shattered every. The, the show shattered every uh, ratings documentary record on ESPN, and I think I read somewhere it got a higher ratings than all but two NBA games that were on this year, and I don't know which two, but that makes um, sense. Yeah. So it was, what will be what? What's the high? Do you know what the number is? That's not very high, actually. NBA 6. ratings. Six point three million watched it. The previous high so it, for the draft uh, will thirty kill for it. thirty was like uh, the Bo show. The Bo Jackson yeah. was the, like three point something million. There was some talk that. The last dance would rival the draft's ratings, but that ain't happening. Draft will triple that up. Draft will do very well. Yeah, well, I don't know if they'll do twenty million, but they'll probably do more than six million. Yeah, uh, yeah, they'll do very well. I don't, I don't. Yeah, the huge ratings though for ESPN um, uh, for the last dance, and again, no, no surprise at all. I mean, we kind of figured that was going to happen, and people were looking for it, and yeah, six point one million viewers that averaged. Uh, the most watched ever for documentary content. Um, averaged 6.3 million viewers across the two networks. The two hours uh, equivalent to about a 2.7 rating ahead of anything else on TV on Sunday night. I believe that. It's very compelling. And Michael Jordan is, is – tell you what else is the staying power of Jordan and his brand, too. Kareem ain't lasted. You know, a lot of them ain't lasted this long. No. And he does it without trying. Yeah. Michael Jordan's private. He's yeah. not out and about no. and promoting himself. Never he just has. Been. Sits back on a rocking chair with a big old stogie and makes another billion from Air Jordan brand. He got uh, remarried and has like young kids too. Does he? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Jordan's probably what 55. He's my age, like, yeah. 55, 56. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he's an old looking 55, by the way. He has tired eyes, doesn't he? He does. They're like bloodshot. Yeah, like bloodshot, tired eyes. He always looks like he's sleeping off of a, a bender, which I don't. I'm, I don't think that's what he's doing, but he just looks kind of puffy and bloated and tired eyed to me. I'll tell you what else has been interesting is it's restarted the LeBron V Jordan argument. That's flaring up right now more than, you know, this is this is stirred that back up. I, yeah. I LeBron is a terrific player. Yeah, LeBron I mean, is a, LeBron he's is a great player. LeBron is Mount Rushmore, but he ain't Jordan. He ain't Jordan. And the, and the reason is this. Um he's 3 and 6. Jordan's yeah. 6 and 0. Oh. I'm sorry, that matters. Six and zero in the finals versus three and six matters. Yeah, and I and and now look, if you'd have put LeBron and Jordan spot on those teams, would they have won? Maybe, maybe they'd have won anyway. But yeah. LeBron, uh, here's something else that's fair to say about LeBron: they're different kind Jordan, of players. Well, too. Jordan, you put the ball in his hands with eight seconds to go, buddy. He's going to go get you a hoop. You can't yeah. say that for LeBron. No, he'll pass it. Yeah, it's just I don't. It's not an insult to LeBron no. to be to finish second or third. I mean, we're not even bringing in other people to the argument, but it does seem that LeBron v. Jordan, and I think that's a that's a generational thing. Like our kids, you know, they they appreciate LeBron. Yeah. Now that is now my kids because they have the uh, my influence and they, they like have Dominique. <laughs> well, they you know the, they say what about Dominique? Well, Dad? they say Dad. We're talking about the second best player of all time, right behind Dominique. Why isn't CAC on the Mount Rushmore? CAC. Discuss amongst yourselves. John Contract. That's what we called <laughs> yes, him. Yes, got a lot. Of- got one of the first big ones, John Contract. <laughs> By the way, Dan, you're correct. Uh, Jordan has a six-year-old twin daughters. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so. And he married like With a. With his uh, wife. <clears throat> yeah, like a model. Correct. Younger. And he, he was married to Juanita. How's well, Juanita yeah. doing? There's also Jeffrey Jordan, who played down at UCF. It's interesting to see him as a little kid. When- Walking through there. Yeah. yeah. Also, apparently last year, his daughter uh, had a son. 
Uh, she's uh, with uh, former Syracuse player Raheem Christmas. Imagine coming yeah, down. I remember to that find name. Out your, yeah. your father-in-law's MJ. Ooh, yeah. Uh, I, I think if I was Christmas, Dad, I also play a if ball. I was Christmas, I'd buy, now I'm ready to sit, challenge him to a game of one on one. Yeah, I might now can get him. He's 55. Probably. I don't can. think so. I think you can. I think Christmas would beat Jordan. You do? Uh, yeah, sure. Oh, I don't. He's 55, Dan. You're yeah. 55. Yeah. Oh, he's got no. Come yeah. on, man. I'll he take can't Jordan. move. No. Oh, yeah. Stop it. 57, by the way, for Mike. 57. Yeah. No back way. Back him down and hit jumpers no, all day. No, he won't. I will CT not. if you could back Dan down. No, I, and by the way, I'm not sure the last time Jordan has picked up a basketball. I'll leave that part out either. Well, didn't I just see video of him and Brady playing at a park in the Bahamas or something? Was that <laughs> him and Jordan? Brady and Jordan? I, so you say Jordan's no, signing with the Bucks? You know what? I'm talking about a real, real basketball. I don't mean like picking it up in the driveway and shooting one. Anyway, that's a sil- that that argument has Jordan versus Christmas. Yeah, right. That's who a, you got. That's less interesting than Jordan v. LeBron all time. <laughs> we went from Jordan LeBron to Jordan v. Would you Christmas. Um, Rocky Christmas? Uh, listen, the other thing, uh, one other thing about Jordan, you know, it's so unfair to to be his sons, man. I mean, it's it's tough. I mean, uh, y- you know. And, and to play basketball, they should have tried baseball, football, anything. There haven't been. There have been. Yeah, there are a few. There have been father athletes whose sons became better: yeah. Barry Bonds, Bobby Bonds. Yes, that's probably the best example, though. Ken Griffey, Griffey Ken Griffey Jr. But I'm trying to. I, I mean it from like a great player. Like gets. Tiger's son shouldn't play golf. Well, I'm just saying. Like, <laughs> I, I, I'm talking. I'm talking I about. Mean, I don't think there is an example of a great player, unless he loves it. I guess. Maybe being, I loved it. Being outgraded by his son. Bobby Bonds was a good player. He wasn't a great player. He's a good player. Yeah, and Ken Griffey was a good player. He wasn't right, a great. That's player. what I mean. It was really... so their sons were great. So I'm yeah. talking about like what if I, I I'm still waiting on Ken Griffey Jr.'s son to be better than him. That's what I'm yeah. saying. What is the example? Ken of... Griffey Jr.'s son played football, by the way. Yeah, yeah. What is the what's the best example of the of a great player uh-huh. having a kid who became as good or better than him? Is there a? I don't think thing? there is one. Is there, no, I said, what's the best? There has to be a best. It, it uh, might be Barry Bonds might be the best. I, I don't know what the best is. What about, I was a little young. How good a football player was Calvin Hill? Was he a better football player than? Calvin Hill was really good. Was he be, Was he Bobby Bonds, Ken Griffey good? He wasn't as long well, what a was career. Grant, what was Grant Hill? You know Grant who Hill has a chance? A Hall of Famer. You know who has a chance? From the NBA? Is it Grant Hill in the Hall of Fame beef? I'm Probably. not sure if he's got it. Is Grant huh? Hill that good? Grant Hill was very good. I he got know, injured. I, yeah, but. I remember the injury killing him, though. He's early in his career. You know who has a chance who? to be better than his dad, and his who? dad was great? Who? Vlad Jr. Yeah. Vlad yeah. Guerrero Jr.? There you go. That's, yeah, I don't – Vlad's in the hall, though. We got a long way to go. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. To, to get there. Um, trying to look. The Matthews in football? Who, Matthews? Clay Matthews? yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Their dad. Well, which, I, the problem with that is I don't know which Matthews. How good produced, was Archie? I don't know which Matthews uh, produced which one. How good was Archie? He, not he, no better than than um, than Griffey and Bond Senior. A, a fair point brought up by a caller. Uh-huh. Again, uh-huh. It, it predates all of us, and it's also a sport we don't follow closely enough. Answers the Rashad. Uh, Maurice Rashad was a great the player. And Maurice, then Rocket, the Rocket Rashad. And then Rocket. Oh, uh, Bobby Hull, Brett Hull. Was Brett Hull not good Brett enough? Not he was better not than better than Bobby Hull. Than Bobby Hull. <laughs> no. Oh, Bobby yeah, Hull we're looking better. for better. That's right. Yeah. We're not just the best combine. How good was uh, – uh, no, that's not. What about Tony Gwynn Jr.? What about Felipe and Moises? <laughs> was Felipe considered a great player? No. Um, you know, Grant Hill's an interesting one. He's a seven-time All-Star. Yeah. And he was the rookie of the year. Um, that's a I don't. I don't fashion that's a border. Grant Hill as a great player. Yeah, I think really he was. Good. If he hadn't gotten hurt. I think he was. He was yeah. yeah, he was yeah. headed. Yeah, he was headed to greatness, and that that's fair. All right, so Clay Matthews <clears throat> Jr. Is, is Hall of Famer. Is Clay Matthews a Hall of Famer? Isn't the, he the one playing now? No, no, the, his father isn't his, he? Yeah, I think so. Is right. it aren't Clay and Bruce both in the Hall of Fame? Uh, isn't Bruce the better player than Clay? The Matthews are confusing. Dude. Yeah, I know. The bloodlines run too deep. In Clay the, Matthews Jr., who's the dad, elected to the Pro Bowl four times. No, at, he, that's the That's kid. the current one, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Clay Matthews, a third. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to keep those Matthews together. We haven't got into Jake Matthews Actually, Clay yet. Matthews Jr. is the dad. Clay okay. Matthews is the third is the son. Okay. I don't think Clay Matthews Jr. Bruce is in the hall. Bruce is the one in yeah, the hall. I think. And his son is Jake, right? 
I don't know. Who's a tackle from Texas uh, A&M and top ten pick, Jake Matthews. Yeah. That's another one of those, that clan. How about, here's one, how about Kyle Roach Sr. and Kyle Roach Jr.? Kyle yeah. Roach Jr. used yeah. to win the Superstars. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe there's a NASCAR, that, you know, there's some. The Uncers. Yeah, the Uncers. Al and Al Jr. Car racing. I don't quite put it up there with football, basketball, baseball, but I, yeah, that's fair. <laughs> How about how about can 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 Rick Barry get points for all of his sons? Do all of his sons add up to one player? I don't think player? they do. No. Who was the best of Canyon? his kids? Canyon. 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 Canyon was like the rogue. Came like ten years after everyone else. Transferred around. It's Canyon. <laughs> Canyon Barry. What about hey, Canyon? Who names their kid Canyon? By the way. Well, here's a good one. Different sports. Uh, the Nortons. Ken Norton, senior and junior. Yeah. Junior wasn't better than senior. See, this is no. another one. That's like it's sort of like it, it goes back, and it's, so it's like I, I was I didn't yeah. follow closely enough. Go ahead. Uh, Callers, you know, Lee Petty was a great driver, but obviously, yeah. not the king. Yeah, but Lee, yeah, yeah. I, mean, so I, I said racers. I don't. Racing, I, yeah. I think I'd probably yeah. put the Uncers in, on par with that, though. Yeah. I mean, like Dale Junior was a really good racer, but he wasn't senior. Obviously, we're looking for someone. We're looking for a Hall of Fame level great parent who was. I got one. Then had a kid who was better than they were. He wasn't better, but this is one of the greats of all time, and his son made the Hall of Fame. Okay. Gordy Howe and his son. One of his sons was a Hall of Famer. Yeah. Mark. I, the problem is, if I have to ask you what his name was, I can't let him survive. But you right? don't know hockey. Well, I know hockey enough that I would know who Mark Howe is if I'd ever heard of him. He's in the Hockey Hall of Fame. I get it. Why? Because he's Gordy's kid? No. You don't get in the Hall of Fame because you're someone's kid. No, Mark kid. Howe well, that was a, a joke. I didn't mean that yeah. seriously. But who, was more, who did Mark Howe play for? When did he play? What yeah. position? I don't, I've never heard of the name. Yeah, but you're not a hockey guy. Well, I'm a hockey guy that I've heard Bobby and Brett Hall. I've heard Mar- Maurice Richard. I'm not, it's not like I don't know anything at all about hockey. Here's a great I've one. I've never heard Mark Howe, and it's got to be relatively recent. I mean, Gordy was playing in the Degum 70s. Here's a, a great one. 80-year-old. What about the Webbers? Which one? Bruce Weber? No. Ken Weber? No. Phil Weber? Dick and Pete. Dick Weber, the bowler. And Pete <laughs> Weber, his son, maybe. Again, we're getting into bowling. I got one more. All right, this uh, is it. Now, listen, dude, uh, Dan, I mean, yeah. Mark Howe was a decent player, but he's not in the Hall of Fame. He's in the Hall of Fame. He's elected to the World Hockey Association Hall of Fame, uh, along I mean, with the Howe family. Again, I, but I don't, but I don't know hockey. Folded in with I mean, his whole family because he sprung out what of court. Done there. I mean, okay, come I got on. one more. I knew Mark Howe was a nobody. What about Man of War? No, you're giving war me horses Admiral. now. Man of War and War no, Admiral. I, no, Secretary and whoever his father was. <laughs> hey, Mark Howe played a thousand years and has. Uh, yeah, Mark like Howe never heard of us. I mean, I, I, that would have been an all timer for me to have never heard of a Hall of Famer. In hockey. Well, Bobby and Brett are both in the Hall, right? Yeah. yeah. Now that, but Brett wasn't players. better but, than Bobby. But Bobby was better. Bobby yeah. was the better player. I yeah. think so, yeah. That's hard, man. Anyway, that was fun. Let's, uh, let's, right. let's get off of it. Okay. Um, how. We'll it, get off when I say. How would you feel. Um, if the Jags traded or either signed or traded for Andy Dalton, how would I feel? Yeah, is that a move you would want him to make? Does that make sense to you? Does it put? Does it keep you in this procession of oh my God, Minch? Well, do, do you almost need to let Minshew have so much rope for a year that if he fails, okay, you're in a position to pick great, and if he succeeds, he gets to grow and be better. But does it serve any purpose if Gardner Minshew like quarterbacks the first three games and? You know, he's not great, so you go to Andy Dalton, and he's successful, and suddenly what? You're the Bengals of 2019? Right. right. So point? I don't know what the point is. Of, Has I that do, point been brought up recently? Or oh, is, well, yeah, there was a uh, – Mike Silver says that the Jags are interested if the price is right. Oh. So I, I don't know what – Well, there's a Gruden-Dalton connection, obviously. For sure. has got to be in there banging the door saying, yeah, hey, I would think. what about this guy? You know, we can win with this guy. You know, I don't know. Um, I, I get the feeling – that the Jaguars may be, you know, we've heard of Cam Newton's name uh, a tie to him. We've seen uh, Vegas odds. Uh, now you bring up Andy Dalton. I get the feeling after the draft, the Jags will be focused on bringing in a veteran quarterback. I, I sure ho- would hope that, to be honest with you, considering this situation. Now, look, I'm not opposed to going and getting Cam Newton or James Winston or, or Andy Dalton. If, hey, we want to win. This is our guy for the next three years. Mm-hmm. But to bring in that guy with what they have, I'd rather him get like a – and I don't know if these guys are available, but more like a, a Matt Moore, Trevor Simeon, just a vet that can go in there and, you know, placehold for a week or two if there's an injury or other. You'd rather have one of those guys than Dalton, James, or Cam? I would. I just, because why? Well, Dalton, James, or Cam only makes sense if you bring him in and be the starter. Yeah. Right? You would think. Yeah. 
or at least well, that's compete. why. Well, you can say well, we'll let them compete. Well, I mean, how in the hell can we? It, 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 you're, you're, you know, you're, you're. I mean, this is what we do. You're urinating on legs and say it's raining if anybody tells you right now Gardner Minshew's better than either one of those. That's not realistic. Well, like right now, that's why you need Gardner to play and get a little bit of yeah. good and bad on his resume so you can make a better decision. I mean, we only got 12 games to, to look at, and we are swayed by the six wins. Uh, uh, what does that look like under 16-game microscope? Mm-hmm. You know, uh, baseball MLB has put out a uh, – not. I'm sorry – there's a plan being discussed by MLB to use three different stadiums in three different states and locate, you know, 10 teams in each or whatever it is. Which, you know, with Florida being one of them, that'd be a big win for us. Florida, only if our team is here. Florida. ours, Both of ours would be. Um, 100%. Texas and Arizona. Uh, and part of it is because they're all closed, you know, and they can kind of control the, the climate and such. So... Um, Where would the Florida location be? Did they say? I think it's Tampa, isn't it? It'd be the St. Pete Dome? Yeah, that's what I would assume. I mean, that would be great if our team, and I'd go be going down to St. Pete. I'd go down to St. Pete eight times this, this summer. Well, what's the difference between that and Atlanta? An hour? A lot less than an hour, but bottom line is you got a whole these different teams. You could go down to St. Well, yeah. Pete for a day and see two or three, you know, for a weekend, see two or three games. Yeah. That's uh, my, that was the point. Fun. Not just the Braves, but no, yeah. Tampa's significantly closer than Atlanta. I'm more like an hour and a half. Not St. Pete. Saint well, I've been you, to St. Pete. You got to keep get, going. That's about three forty-five, right? To get to St. Pete, three and a half, three forty-five. To, to get to the, to get to to the, the stadium, the, that sounds right. Yeah, to get to the dome from here, yeah, three forty-five. You're, you're not going to Atlanta's. Turner, not going to Turner anymore either. Right? So. No, to go to Atlanta, it's about five fifteen. Yeah, especially on a game day because of when it starts, you're either you're going through traffic or it's a weekend where mm-hmm. it's a big game, so, yeah, or a bigger crowd. Yeah, but but it would be uh, so that that might be something that. Is coming up, and then one other thing I wanted to bring up. They're talking about, you know, obviously there's going to be no fans in sports here at the beginning, right? Well, there's one event on the calendar that's coming up in September that you have to have fans. I mean, and 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 they're talking about doing it without fans, and I think that would be very noticeable. They're all noticeable. Don't get me wrong, but I couldn't imagine a Ryder Cup without fans, right? Ryder Cup is. To me, I, 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 the, I think we're way ahead of ourselves canceling stuff in September too. The 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 well, they're not canceling. I mean, well, it's on the I, schedule, but like deciding you're not going to have. Yeah. I, I do know this. The, yeah, I mean, we're we're going to get a lot of answers here in the next month and a half as things open back up, and then we're going to have the reaction to the sickness that flares up, and then what's the reaction to the reaction going to be, and then we'll have a better idea. Yeah, I, I'm shocked and disappointed in the British though. I mean, if the PGA Tour can start up in in June with no fans, then why would the British already be canceled? I that was ahead of the. Ahead of things, I think. Well, I can, I there mean, was, it's, well, a, it's a month it's, later. I, I don't know this for sure, but I remember either reading or talking about some sort of insurance clause that they had to so make a decision their money by back. a yeah, that's date true where they would recoup so, their dollars. Oh, so shocking. It's money. Sure. Oh, that's what it was. Especially it was in this day and age. Did you hear this baseball plan, by the way? Having a season in those three plots where you throw out the traditional divisions. Have you heard that? Yeah, I guess you would, right? Well, that's what they're going to do. Like, they'll be the t- the teams that are in each of those spots. Those will be the ones, you know, whether it's two or three or four that will earn playoff spots from that. You're not going to have National League East, Central, you know, West anymore. It's mm-hmm. not going to be like that. Mm-hmm. Should we, Pross, I need to make money here oh, as, as we head to I'm, break. I'm down. You know, I'll that's come the back. second one today. Let wow. me come. Oh, you, Jeff had one? Pross already hatched the New York Times bestseller. Oh, oh, I did. And the award-winning six o'clock. Uh, yeah, six o'clock hour. It's called, yeah, it's called, I'm going to write a book. I'm going to yeah. take a year sabbatical here. I would like to continue to be paid by 1010XL uh, to finance this, but I'm going to write just a, a quirky little coffee table book, a New York Times bestseller. You'll see me on Kelly, R- Regis and Kelly, and all the, you know, all, all of the rotation. Regis and Kelly. But I'm going to write a little book called uh, Send All, and it's going to be a documenting the mistakes of people that sit, thought they were sending an email or a text to one person, but instead sent it to everyone. There's got to be it's fast coffee book. Right. There's got to be fascinating stories all out there through mm-hmm. personal business and otherwise where send all. And, and, and I'm saying it to, you know, that what happened yesterday is dumb, dumb one, Jan, and dumb, dumb two, Tony hit send all. Yeah. No, you hit sit private and then yeah. you take care of that. I like it. All right. We'll do that <laughs> more coming up next. I didn't uh, make money from you, though. Right what here a, on the drill. I, I, need yeah. a one, I need a bracket up, Dad. I had one. I oh. mean, what are we doing here? We'll do it as we go to break. Yeah. That's a good call. Thank you. Oh. Wow, well, let's shift gears. Well, let's do it. It's Catlin Truck Accessories Tuesday, by the Darn way. All right. Uh, they, they got a great giveaway going on right now. Go to their Facebook oh, or Instagram. Upset to make it. 
279 votes in, so heavy activity. Dan Songs, 56.6. ETN, 43.4. Yeah, I don't think that's an upset at all. I think that's a, uh, maybe the one's a one, one's a two. Yeah. I think Songs are going to win. I noticed that Dan Songs and ETN in the in the uh, battle to get to the Elite Eight both had the same percentage, so I was expecting a dogfight. Well, you may, may still get one. We yeah. still have an hour, 45 minutes, minutes to go. Yeah. So uh, if you're a big fan of ETN, I've had a couple places on the text line said, if ETN wins, will it come back? ETN. It uh, might. We have talked about that. We've Don't talked know. about it. I, I, I think songs are one of the best things we've done already. I think ETN is going to uh, come back, but I think it's going to come back in a once-a-week format. Not if it loses well, today. Not if dead. it loses today. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm not trying to spur it that way. Yeah. I, I think the, the ditties we put together through the years mm-hmm. are standalone. We did one yesterday. I know. We should have it out I'm here today. Yeah, they, they've asked for some backup. Yeah, it's not, I wouldn't say backup. Fine-tuning. But, Try to level out some of the tonage that's going on in in this. Anyway, we're back with more on the Catlin Truck Accessories Tuesday. We love you guys out there. Love you.